certain macros can only live in good water quality. All right. And the first important one, what is this? Hey, look at this. Are what do we call that? What are they called? Mayflies. Okay. How many tails? Three tails. Stoneflies. Now, they're not. You know, they look scary because this is big, but they're. Not. You know, most most stoneflies are only about that big, okay? So they're not going to bite you. They don't have any mouth parts, okay? Um, how many tails? Two. Two. So most people get these, they can't remember. So the way you remember, the mayfly has three tails, stonefly has two tails, because they look real similar when you just see them uh, swimming around, is M has three, three things going up and down, okay? Yes? Um, do they like start changing and they start changing? Do they start changing? They will, and it's called metamorphosis. What they do is they spend their time living in the creek around the rocks, and then pretty soon, as they've under, got bigger and bigger and bigger, it's time to turn into an adult, and we call that metamorphosis. Well, these macros do this underwater. They have a cocoon, just like a butterfly, but a butterfly is on land. Butterflies aren't macros. And they build a cocoon, and they turn into the adult, okay, underwater. This is not the adult bug. This is what we call, it's the immature bug. Now, there's a name for that. It's called larvae, okay, larva. That just means it's the stage of a life cycle of a bug. It's going to turn into an adult, okay? And that's why it looks funny. Now, most of the macros you're going to collect are like this. They're the larvae form of insects, so they're not the adult. This bug turns into the adult in water. Well, wings don't do you any good in water. So what will happen is they'll float to the surface of wherever creek they live in or pond or lake, and they'll sit there on the surface and dry their wings because they're wet. They can't fly with, with wet wings, so they dry their wings. Okay? And it might take 20, 30 minutes if it's a nice warm day. What things come up from the water to eat all of these mayflies sitting fish. up there? Fish. And a lot of times you see a lot of fish. When, a, when there's a mayfly hatch, as it's called, when they run to the, they float to the surface, a lot of times you see a lot of fish feeding on them because they sit there, they, they can't move. They dry their wings, they, then they fly around looking for a mate. A species of mayfly, adult, only lives two days as an adult. Imagine your life if you only lived two days. It'd be pretty short, huh? Well, one species only lives two days, finds another partner, the opposite sex. They got two days to do this. They mate, and the female lays their eggs on the surface of the creek and they float down to the surface, attached to the rocks, they hatch as a larva, and they might, they live most of their life as a, a sub-adult or a larva. 